Now we're going to learn how we can auto generate invoices on a specific date. Now so far in the previous videos we have seen that what system is doing is system is finding out all the all the delivery documents where all the post goods issue are completed and they will be ready for the invoices. So using the Fury application or using otherwise using the VF04 transaction you can see what are the outbound deliveries that are waiting to be built and system will be generating the invoices and as we discussed earlier this can be generated manually or can be processed automatically in the background but sometimes what happens is maybe your customer is saying that they want to consolidate all the invoices and they want to receive it on maybe twice a month for example they can say they want to receive it on the 15th of every month and also on the last date of every month or maybe they can say they want to receive it weekly every monday or they can say they want to receive it once a month maybe on the first date so there can be different scenarios so whatever the scenario is we can customize it so let's see one example here that customer wants to receive all the consolidated invoices on the 15th of every month and also on the last date of every month that means they want to receive it every fortnightly so here if you look at this example say one of the outbound delivery finished completed on may 12th okay and this is will be this will be immediately ready to be built but we want the system to be building build this on 15th of may same goes for another delivery which was created on may 15 itself delivered to and this is also pending now this is because we want the system to generate on 15th of every month which is the first day of uh, 15 which is the first part of the month and the second part of the month will be 30th or 31st so system will be finding that okay whatever billing doc uh, whatever outbound delivery created before may 15 will be consolidated in this case may 12 may 15 will be collected and if there are more maybe created on may 10th may 9th may 8th everything will be collected and system will be collecting them and creating one invoice for may 15th same goes for system on 31st of or the last date of every month system will be finding whatever is whatever delivery is pending so maybe a delivery was created maybe on may 17 may 20th may 25th everything will be consolidated and on 31st it will be build automatically so we sending the invoices consolidated invoices to our specific customer on 15th and 31st of every month okay so this setting is basically we can do for customer specific where maybe one customer wants something else another customer wants something else so it can be customer specific so let's see what we need to do in the system so these are the settings you must be maintaining so first is you need to maintain the individual billing dates in the factory calendar using a special rule that's one thing that means you need to go to the factory calendar setting and maintain the setting um, i will be creating another separate video for factory calendar where i will explain in more details about how to create and customize a factory calendar second step you need to do is to enter that factory calendar in the customer master record or the business partner record of the pair which I'm going to show you now and when you create a document the system copies the next invoice date from the factory calendar to the appropriate document as the billing dates so let's have a look so first setting you need to do is you need to open your business partner or customer master you can do it from GUI or you can also open it via the Fury application if you're using ECC then you need to use the transaction VD02 So I'll open my customer 1000032. I need to make sure you go to the this view FLCU01, which is a sales area data. So select that view and then you will see a sales and distribution tab. If you are here, for example, if you're on this view, you need to select this one FLCU01 customer maintained and then go to sales and distribution tab. Here under billing tab, you will see invoice dates if you if i open this one let me press f1 on this one 
So here you can see this will identify the calendar that determines the scheduling of the billing dates for the customer. For example, a customer wants to consolidate the invoices that you send, you can predefine the billing schedule in the calendar of the system. So basically what it is, here if I open the search box, you will see a list of all the factory calendars. Now in standard system there are uh, one calendar mainly for each country, but there can be more as well. And you can copy that or you can customize your own. You can use one or you can customize your own. For example, if I select this one US, so whatever the setting maintained for US, whatever the working days are maintained for US factory calendar, system will be copying those working days and then it will be treating the invoices for those days. This is second one here, you can see the invoice list, same thing, but this is used for invoice list. So when you, if you want to create the invoice list on a specific date, then you need to select the factory calendar where the working days is maintained for those dates and then you can create the invoice list accordingly. Now I'll talk about invoice list in a later video but here we'll talk about the factory calendar maintenance in brief. So here you can see invoicing data maintained is for US. So if you want to see what are the working days maintained for US, so if I save it and then if you want to open the factory calendar, the transaction code is SCAL, S -C -A -L. And there's a Fury application as well. You can open by Fury application as well. But let me go through this one, SCAL. Select factory calendar here. Now, all these settings I will discuss in the next video. But for now, let me show you the US factory calendar. So I will select the factory calendar. And then I go to change or you can display or change. Here you need to search the US one that I just used. So if I select the US, then I can click on calendar. Here it will show you all the years. And I need to select, for example, 2021. This is the year I want to check. So if I select 2021 and then I can click on this display, here it will show me what are the work, what are the holidays maintained. So here you can say these are the holidays maintained. That means all other days are basically working days except these days right so if i go back if i select 2021 again or let me go back first if i select my 2021 sorry let me go to us first if i select us from here and click on this chain mode here you can also see that what are the working days for example monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday things like that so this way system will know that we are working only five days we're not working on saturday sunday so system will be not be scheduling it on those days for any reason for example for this calendar factory calendar maintenance if you use say uh, if you just say monday that means system will consider that only monday is the working day so that way we can um, system can maintain the working days according to this setting so all other days will be non-working days system will be considering monday only if you select this setting then you don't need to do anything extra system will be generating the invoices on mondays every mondays except the public holidays that were maintained over there you can go to the special rule if i save it press enter If I go to the special rule, there's some special rules as well you can maintain. For example, if I click on create from this day to this day, what are the work days we, you want to maintain, for example, then you can maintain that as well. But let me go back. In this case, every Monday is a, is a working days except, except those public holidays. except if I scroll down select 2021 go to year and here you can see these are the public holidays so if these public holidays any of them is falling on a Monday then that Monday will be considered as non-working day and all of those Mondays, Mondays will be considered as um, working day so system will be using this calendar so 
I'll talk about more details how we can customize our own calendar from scratch in the next video. Also for this uh, specific uh, billing scenario where we want billing to be happening twice a month. So what we need to do is to select this uh, factory calendar. For example, select US, go to the chain mode. Here, like you can see work days. Now, whatever work days you maintained here, that will take the second priority. But if you maintain the, let me save it. If you maintain the special rule, special rule will be ignoring all the setting and public holidays that you have maintained. And this will ta be taken as a first priority. So if I click on create, for example, in this case, I need to create, for example, 15th and 30th of every month or the 31st of every month. So I will start, start with the uh, first one. I need to do manual entries. So I'll say, uh, let's start maybe open the calendar. So I will say first should be happening the end of this month and same I'll copy here and this will be a work day if you don't take work day that means it's a holiday I'll say here I'll manually put here what the text means is I will say this is the 31st or I can put like 31st dot 08 that means this is a work day whatever text you want to put for example I can put text one two three for example and i can create it same way i need to create multiple entries here for example second one will be that means if i remove this it will be next month 15th same if i then manually enter here 15 0 9 2021 i'll say this is a work day and this is i'll say here uh, 15th 0 9 2021 and like that i can continue and then another one, let's create one more entry, which will be the end of September. So I'll say it's a, it's a week of 30 or 31st, we need to check. So 30th, same here. 30th. And then he'll enter some text here, 30th. 9 so same way you need to maintain all those entries where you want to make it active so only these days because we created the special rule all other settings will be ignored and this will be taking the first priority and these are the work days let me select this one so these are the only work days so 31st 15th 30 30th then next will be 15th of october 31st photo of october like that so once you have maintained this then you will link this calendar to the to the business partner so hope that's clear now after maintaining this special rule you need to go back so just say in this case I created three days uh, and these three days are only working days and we can maintain more of course so what I'll do I'll go back and you also need to make sure you uncheck all these as work days because those are the work days that we have just maintained and now if I save it save again and if I go to go back one step scroll down open US go to calendar scroll down and here you can see for year 2021 you can see there are three working days only why three working days here because we have created only three entries um, for the work days so that's how you can maintain more entries for the whole year and system will be considering those days as work days and only and the billing documents will be generated only for those days that's all about maintaining the business partner if you want to generate invoices on a specific date so that's all about this thank you very much to watch this